I tried on all the best baggy jeans that I could find online so you guys don't have to. Hey guys, so today I'm on the quest to find the perfect pair of baggy jeans. Last year I did do a similar video, but I was looking for just a pair of classic high-waisted jeans, whereas this time we are looking for those long, loose-fitting jeans. And finding nice ones can be surprisingly hard, especially if you can't find them in thrift stores or don't have access to decent thrift stores with that kind of variety. Maybe you don't know how to alter them correctly to get them to fit you. So I'm going to try on and share with you a whole bunch that I ordered online. Now, it wasn't actually that easy getting every pair of jeans that I wanted for this video in my exact size and inseam length because they were sold out. But you guys would definitely know by now that I use the app ShopTagger religiously for all of my online shopping. So for those jeans that were sold out, I just saved them to my ShopTagger app and within maybe a couple of days or so, I got a push notification on my phone saying they had come back in stock. And of course, those ones end up being my favorite pairs in this video and some of them have already completely sold out again, so I'm so glad I got them when I did. To use the app, all you have to do is install the browse button on your desktop. When you find an item online that you want to save, you just click the little shop tag button in the corner, select what you'd like to be notified of. So in this case, tell me if there's any price change and if it's sold out, it'll tell you when it's restocked. Click save and you're done. So now for any item you have saved in the app, you will get notified via email if it goes on sale, if it's low in stock or if it comes back in stock. But the real trick is to get the mobile app because then you get push notifications and you can see it right there on your lock screen. It also has a list feature so you can organize your shopping. It will scan the internet for any coupons available at checkout and you can even earn cash back via PayPal with select retailers. So it just has everything. ShopTag have worked with me on sponsored videos like this for four years now, which is how long I've been using the app. It is seriously such a game changer. Highly recommend you guys download it if you haven't already. So I will put a link to download ShopTag right at the top of the description box below. Now let's get into trying on the jeans. I will put a list of all of the ones I'm trying on, plus maybe recommendations for alternatives in case any of them are sold out in the description box below as well. I'm going to start off with a pair of jeans that I actually already own and I love them and I wear them all the time. So I felt I should share the style with you guys. It's actually a style that I happened to mention in my jeans video from last year, but back then this wasn't the style I was looking for, but I revisited the style uh, earlier this year yeah and now I love them. So I have the Playback Jean by Subi and they are in the color Scream Flash Trashed Blue. I actually picked these up used off eBay for only $85. The seller said they'd only been worn twice and they were in perfect condition. I've been a huge fan of the Subi brand for many years now. And even though they are on the pricey side, I personally find the quality to be excellent. And I love the designs they do. And for this pair in particular, I love the rips, the design of the rips that they've placed is just perfect for me. And a lot of people may distress their own jeans. I do kind of like the pre-ripped kind because it's done correctly, it's done professionally. I just trust that it's not going to rip even further out of my control. That being said, I have distressed some of my own clothing that I have, you know, just go at it with some scissors and a cheese grater. These jeans are great if you don't want something extremely baggy like some of the other jeans I am going to show in this video. These have a nice classic straight baggy leg. They're just really nice. I love these jeans. I highly recommend them. Next, we have the new look tall wide leg jeans in mid blue. These are a super wide leg baggy pair of jeans. They feel very heavy as well. There's a lot of fabric there, which can be good, can be bad. Whenever there's a lot of fabric, all I can think is these would be really hard to travel with because I know they're gonna weigh a lot in my suitcase. But I actually love how they look like a true 90s skater jean because there is so much fabric. I bought these in my regular size and the waist was a little bit roomy, which sometimes I kind of like. It's just a bit more comfy after you've been eating, you know? Or I could easily belt them if I did want to wear them with a crop top or something. The denim in these is also really soft and comfortable, which I think is good considering how much fabric there is. The only thing is I'm not a huge fan of the wash of the blue denim, but it's very much a personal preference. It creates kind of a gradient effect and they just look too smooth, if that makes sense. But if you want that truly accurate, ultra baggy 90s look, these are the jeans. Next we have the Collusion X014 dad jeans with stepped 
waistband. These are more of an unusual pair that I just thought I would try because they look like they had a really nice baggy leg and I quite liked the shade of the denim. It was a little bit different to my other pairs of jeans, but frankly, these just were very ill-fitting. I got them in my true size and then one size up and neither of them fit. One was way too small, I couldn't even do them up, and the other was way too big. That being said, the way they fit on me is actually quite similar to the model on the website. They don't really fit as a true high waist and they don't really fit low either. They're just kind of teetering there on her mid waist. But because the waist of the jeans is such a feature, you would want it to be sitting nicely on your body because I feel like you want to be showing it off. However, of course, like with all the other jeans, I do try them on with an oversized long shirt as well in case you want to wear them that way and you can see how they look underneath something. And when you wear them like that, they just look like any pair of kind of baggy skater jeans. However, I do think that this type of waistband could actually sit really well on certain body types. I just have to say, the lighting is causing me a lot of grief shooting this video today because the sun just won't stay the same. So if the lighting keeps going up and down, it's really bright and kind of dark, that's why. Next up is a pair by Bershka. These are the 90s straight leg jeans with rips in light blue. These are one of my favorite pairs in this video because they are super fitted at the waist, but the leg is completely baggy without any alterations. And that is so rare. I also love the width and bagginess of these jeans. I feel like it's just right. And I also love the rip detailing. I think it's a nice amount of rips and I like the little rip detailing along the hems as well. It's a bit unusual. The length is also great on me. So I was very happy with that. There's only one teeny tiny little thing that I'm gonna be really, really picky about. And it's just the kind of crease pattern in the denim. That that being said, it does really differentiate them from all my other jeans. And another great thing about these jeans is that because they fit so well on the waist, they look great wearing them high-waisted with a crop top, and then they also look great with a long shirt over the top as well. So I just think these are a really versatile pair of baggy jeans. We have another pair by Collusion, and these are the X014 dad jeans in heavy vintage wash. These do run a little big, and even my true size doesn't fit super fitted at the high waist if that's something you were after. But in terms of the fit of the leg, I think these are really nice. Again, they're not excessively baggy, they're just kind of a nice amount of bagginess. These are also a slightly darker blue wash, I guess you could say, and they do have those areas on the jeans that have that much darker blue staining. These would be great if you maybe don't plan to wear them high-waisted and you want some jeans that are just baggy with a nice comfy waist because I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking, what does the waist matter if I'm gonna wear like a totally baggy look and not even show the waist? This is future Sophie here when I was reshooting some clips of these jeans. When I tried them on again, I also noticed how soft the denim is. It's like a really nice weight and just feels really soft and comfy and really high quality. So yeah, the feel of these is great. So now I'm thinking I might actually keep these just for how comfy and nice they feel. This pair is by ASOS Design and it's the High Rise Relaxed Dad Jean in Midwash. These were very true to size for me and fit really well in the waist and they had a nice wide leg, very baggy, but as you can see these are definitely too short for me and these were just in the regular length. I definitely want a little bit more fabric to be kind of gathering around where the shoe is. So I did try the tall version and sure enough, they fit super well. The length was perfect on me, nice and baggy and still really nice and fitted at the waist. Along with those super ripped up 90s style that I mentioned earlier, these are one of my favorite pairs from the haul. This pair is actually a unisex pair of jeans. They are called the Collusion X000 unisex 90s fit straight leg jeans with rips. These ran really small. I had to get one or two sizes bigger because I couldn't actually even get on my actual true size. That might be because they're unisex, I'm not sure. And they're also not high-waisted, but that was to be expected because they were not high-waisted on the models in the photos. Here is the smaller of the two sizes I'm going to show. It is too short in the leg, but I really like the rips, the shade of the denim, and the shape of them I think is really nice. Then I tried the size up, and as you can see, there is just way too much fabric in the crutch, so I would definitely wear these with an oversized top covering the waist area, but I would say that these probably look the most similar to my Subi jeans. So if you're looking for a similar style that's much more affordable, 
I would definitely recommend these. Just keep in mind if you are on the taller side, they might be a little bit short for you, but I think here the slightly bigger size actually is not too bad. And also because they aren't super high-waisted, maybe they're more comfy, you know, if you're looking for something that is a little bit looser and sits a little bit lower. I also wanted to throw in a pair of jeans that were in a different color. So here I have a pair of black jeans and these are the Collusion X006 mum jeans in washed black. And I will say these aren't really that true baggy fit. I probably could have told that from the images of them on the model, but you never know until you try. If you have, I don't know, very slim, long lean legs, this might be a great pair for you. One of my favorite pairs of jeans I mentioned earlier in the video actually come in black as well, so I will link them below. Do you guys enjoy this type of video where I try and find the perfect clothing item for a particular clothing item? If you do, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know because I can definitely do more of these, but also comment below what kind of clothing item you would like me to find. And if you see someone already mention the clothing item you're thinking of, give that comment a thumbs up to kind of vote for it so I can see where the demand lies. Be sure to check out my Instagram, my Depop and my online store, my TikTok, my Twitter, everything will be here on the screen and linked below as well. I have been posting more on TikTok lately. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.